Good morning, guys. So, we're doing what you can see, obviously, is potatoes. I'm going to get some ready for dehydrating, and I thought I'd bring you along and just show, show you my process to start. And uh, we'll get chopping, and then we'll fill up the dehydrator together. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so these are all washed. Uh, my hands are clean, and uh, look at the size of these potatoes. Like, my friend has this farm, and uh, we buy at the farmer's market from him every year. And uh, I just love these potatoes. Like, for our family, I can cook like four, and it's enough. So, what I'm going to do is make it stable. As my youngest son says, stable like a table. And then that way you don't hurt yourself. And I'm just going to cut two inch pieces or one inch diameter here and then I'm just going to throw them in this bowl I have lemon, about a tablespoon of lemon in that bowl and these guys I use for everything um, I'm actually making some of these for my mother-in-law as well I'll do like three or four rounds of these in my um, oops in my dehydrator because I only have one one dehydrator but I use them for scalp potatoes I use them for um, just casseroles in general I make a seven layer casserole and it's like um, hamburger vegetables potatoes onions and homemade cream of celery soup and it is so good on a cold winter day. It is like, it's a, you know, it's really just a one pot meal. I do everything in my cast iron. So after I cook my meat, it's just layering it. And it's all done in one, in one pot. It's great. And then after I get all these sliced up, um, I will boil them for five minutes. I leave the skins on because I know they don't spray their um, potatoes and then after I get some of these done I will start chopping these for my jars and I'm gonna start canning some of these today potatoes are so expensive in our town it is just insane when I run out of these potatoes I almost cry when I have to go to the grocery store because I have some in my garden, but like obviously I haven't had to buy any for a little while, but you know, food's getting expensive. And I keep seeing on like Facebook, like food shortages and, and everything. And um, that's really concerning, I think. You know, it kind of makes you realize, at least here, we're not having that right now now what the future holds I don't know but I haven't been to a Walmart store guys in like months so I have no idea but our grocery store I have noticed that um, they're fronting a lot more than they used to but Do you guys do this? Do you guys uh, dehydrate your own potatoes for this kind of stuff? Like soups and stews and casseroles and, and all that kind of stuff? I think it's so nice to have a variety. Like, yeah, it's great to have some stuff in a jar. But I think it's great to have stuff in, like, you know, dehydrated or, um, you know, all, like, multiple different ways. Because my cooking style changes all the time. Like, I'm never doing the same thing twice. And I will chop these up, these little fine pieces. I'm 
and my dehydrator isn't that great so I just have when I first started to dehydrate I wouldn't spend a ton of money on a dehydrator see if I liked it and I just haven't when this one dies I'll buy a new one so it takes maybe a little bit longer to do stuff but that's okay I'm always running in and out and looking after animals and things of that nature so all right guys I'm gonna continue chopping here I think my dehydrator can hold a little bit more maybe two more potatoes that's it so like there there's quite a bit in there and that like I said I have a smaller dehydrator so but all right when I get to putting them on the trays I'll bring you right back all right guys so now we're gonna take the slices of potato into this hot water you guys never want to burn yourselves take your spider and slide it down on your spider like so and you won't get burned all right they're nice and white from the lemon juice and I'm gonna let these boil for five minutes moving them around a little bit I did put a little bit of salt in my water I don't know maybe I just dumped it in it's whatever you don't need to put the salt in I just do it because I can I use uh, good kosher salt so Move that around a little bit. Dump them in. So you're essentially just parboiling them. I got all my little pieces in there. There we go. And I got them all. Yep. I'll push that back. I'm going to use that for my other potatoes I'm going to can here in a little bit. Clean up my mess. I'm just going to let these come to a boil. Like I said, and boil and oops and boil for um, five minutes when it comes up to a boil and then we're gonna put them on trays and get them on the dehydrator I got my dehydrator on and uh, yeah super easy little bit of leg work to make your life a little bit easier in the fall and winter even summer I've used these um, I've been craving um, Mexican you know, scalp, scalp potatoes, and I make them and throw them on the barbecue. So, you know, they're really ver versatile to have in your pantry. Um, so as soon as these are done at the five minute mark, which is starting to boil now, set my timer for five minutes. As soon as these are done, I'll drain them and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so potatoes are done. We're gonna put them on these trays. I've washed them. I've sanitized them in vinegar and I'm just gonna lay single layer now with my dehydrator I will probably have to um, rotate my trays but that's okay I don't mind doing that stuff and I'm just gonna fill all these up and then oh they're hot and then uh, I'm just going to get them on and get them going because I'll probably be doing these will be done hopefully by tomorrow hopefully if not I'll get them all blanched up and ready to go for uh, the next day and I just keep going until I have one of like these full jars full that celery that I did the other day Starting that celery stock today. 
I had some housework to do this morning, so a little bit of a late start this morning. Sometimes you gotta, well on this tray anyways, I don't know about yours, but I kind of just, my youngest son, he calls this uh, te Tetris in real life. That's what he calls that. Plays Tetris all the time. Fitting everything on. What do you guys do with your dehydrated potatoes if you do it? They're mainly just like easy scalp potatoes. What do you guys do? I'd like some new ideas. I just think they're awesome to have. You know, this is my first season in many years not canning for my mother. I used to can all her foods and make all her food and all her meals. I'm feeling a little lost, to be honest. Feels weird just to be doing it for one family. I used to buy all these special jars for just her. Because when my dad passed away, she stopped eating for quite a while. And um, I just started making all her meals and stuff. And then that way, she just had to open the freezer or open a jar and get some good food into her. I think it kept her on this earth for at least another couple years. But it's what kids do, I think. Or should do, anyways. But yeah, so I'm a little lost. She used to love these. She used to make, um, invite my aunt over for dinner and she'd use these potatoes, open up a jar of homemade uh, cream of celery soup and uh, make scalp potatoes because I'd make hers with onions and stuff in it. And then that way it was all ready for her to go. She loved it. I thought it was great. Super easy. I Like I said, it's a little bit of legwork. But you know what? Nothing comes easy. You gotta work hard to get things. I think I'm going to have just enough trays. Wow. That was like four potatoes, guys. Like it was... These potatoes are so massive. I love them. So easy. You know what I want to try dehydrating? is salt and pepper potatoes. I might try that. I've been thinking about it, how I could do it the last couple days. Maybe the next round we'll try that together and see how it all works out. Maybe together we'll create a new uh, dehydrated potato. Do a couple trays and just kind of see how it works. I think that sounds kind of fun. So maybe we'll try that. You guys let, let me know if you guys want to try that. I think it would be kind of different. I mean, isn't that what cooking is all about? Is trying new things. And there we go. I'm going to put this one on the bottom. It's the smallest one. And uh, I'm going to get this on the dehydrator. Like I said, it's already on. It's on one third. Yes, it's on 130. So um, I'll give you guys an update a little bit later, see how, how they're doing. And uh, come back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be taking them off and putting some new ones on. All right, guys. So here's the dehydrated potatoes. They're nice and crispy. Just putting them in this big jar here.
close it up. I need to order some oxygen absorbers or something. But there we go. Big jar full of potatoes, dehydrated potatoes. Nice and handy. All right, guys, if you like what you're seeing here, please share and subscribe. And don't forget to like the video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.